In this video we'll look at the core OOP concepts with real code examples which will make it easier for you to understand the fundamentals. But before we dive into the concepts of OOP, let's clarify the difference between a class and an object. A class is like a blueprint while an object is an instance of that blueprint. Think of a class as a blueprint of a house and an object as an actual house. To illustrate this point, let's look at this example. In this example, the person class is a blueprint that defines the properties of a person. We create two objects, person1 and person2, which are instances of the person class. Each object has its own values for the name and age properties. Now, let's define what object-oriented programming is. OOP is a programming paradigm that uses the concepts of objects and classes to represent data and behaviors. It makes our code more organized, reusable and easier to maintain. OOP has four core concepts. These concepts are encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. Encapsulation is the process of hiding data and behavior within a class, making it inaccessible to other classes or code. Think of a black box where you can only interact with the inputs and outputs, while the internal workings remain hidden. Here is an example of encapsulation. In this example, the bank account class has a private property called balance which is only accessible within the class. The public methods deposit, withdraw and get balance provide a way to interact with the balance property while keeping it hidden from other classes or code. If you try to retrieve the balance, you will get an error because it is inaccessible from the outside code. Abstraction is the process of simplifying complex systems by breaking them down into smaller, more manageable parts. Think of a car where the driver only needs to know how to use the steering wheel, pedals and gears without knowing how the engine works. Here is an example of abstraction. In this example, the animal class is an abstract class that defines an abstract method make sound. The dog and cat classes extend the animal class and provide their own implementation of the make sound method. This allows us to create objects of type dog and cat without having to know the details of how they make their sound. This means that the user only needs to know the high level functionality of a system without knowing the internal details. Inheritance is the mechanism that allows a class to inherit properties and behaviors from a parent class. Think of a family tree where a child inherits some characteristics from their parent. To understand inheritance, let's consider an example where we have a parent class called animal and two child classes called dog and cat. Both dog and cat classes inherit the properties and methods of the animal class, which means they can access and use the same properties and methods as the animal class. The dog class has an additional property called breed and a method called bark, while the cat class has an additional property called breed and a method called sleep. As you can see, a subclass can reuse code from its parent class, which allows us to reuse code and avoid duplicating common functionality across classes. The fourth concept of OOP is polymorphism, which is the ability of an object to behave differently based on the context in which it is used. For example, a person can be a teacher in one context and a student in another. In programming, this means that we can create multiple classes that inherit from a common parent class and have their own unique implementation of the parent's methods. For example, let's say we have an interface of shape which defines a method calculate area. We then have two classes, rectangle and circle. 
which both implement the shape interface and provide their own implementation of calculate area method. And finally, we have a print area function, which takes an argument of type shape and calls its calculate area method to print the area of the shape. By using the shape interface and implementing it in both rectangle and circle classes, we can treat both shapes as a shape objects in the print area function. In summary, encapsulation is the process of hiding implementation details while providing a public interface. Abstraction is the process of hiding complex implementation details while providing a simple interface. Inheritance allows new classes to be based on existing classes and to inherit properties and methods from their parent class. And polymorphism basically allows objects of different types to be treated as if they were the same type. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.